Let me bring Elaine into this conversation. Elaine, you know Donna. You were her warden at the uh, Bedford Hills Correctional Facility. Uh, you are concerned about the fact that so many women are locked up in U.S. prisons. Do you feel that justice is being done here, or is the system, this justice system in the United States, in need of reform? Well, it certainly is in need of, it's in need of big reform. Um, we are putting way too many people in prison. And right now, the number of women going into prison is increasing faster than the number of men going to prison, uh, which is not necessary. Neither uh, growth is necessary. We need to stop and look at what we're doing. And I think after listening to Donna, you see some places or some junctures where certainly as a society, we could have intervened in a different way. And, um, been more proactive with the family, um, with Donna as a young person. Um, she was, as she says, very young when she came to prison, and that's, uh, and that's true of most women. Uh, they're young when they come to prison, and they don't tend to be very dangerous. Even women who have had a violent crime don't tend to repeat that violence. So we're not dealing with the same issues here that we deal with with men, but so often we tend to incarcerate them in the same way that we incarcerate men. So there's a lot of work to be done, and we need to find some avenues that are not as destructive, especially to families. Mm -hmm. uh, a mother who has a, a little child, um, we, we've got to do a better job at looking how we can work with that family, maybe in the community in an alternative way. Um, now, maybe with Donna's crime, that wouldn't have been appropriate. But certainly it would be appropriate. The large increase right now of women coming to prison are for economic crimes. So women are having a hard time economically. And as a result, they're coming into prisons. And that's, we're spending two, three, four times as much to keep them in prison as we would to give them the best services on the outside. I, I think that's a little crazy. You say a lot of work has to be done. Do you sense that there is a will now on the part of criminal justice authorities to recognize that there is something deeply wrong with this system and that it needs to be reformed. Has that work started? Well, I think there is a, a recognition that there has to be a change, but um, I, I think that that recognition came about because, simply because, the cost of imprisoning so many people was overwhelming. Um, the, the, the cost was Human, humongous. I mean, we could do so much more with that. And eventually it would bankrupt our country. Mm -hmm. um, we incarcerate more people than any place else in the world. I mean, that's, and we want to see ourselves as a civilized society. I don't think those two go together. We obviously have to backtrack. We went into a great war on drugs, which was, um, which still is, I think, uh, not working. And we are beginning to learn that we need to put drug offenders into treatment. Uh, you can find some treatment in jails, but it's not at the level you would find on the outside. And yet, it's very expensive, because when you send someone to jail, 90% or more of what you're spending goes on security. And only a small, little amount goes into programs. So we have to look at what we're doing. We could, you know, it used to be said that we could send uh, a young person to college uh, and more. We could send a young person to Harvard for what we're spending incarcerating them, and I think that's true. And now we have an elderly population because we don't want to let people out that have done a long time. And again, they're sick, they have needs. Uh, is that the best thing we can do, set up nursing homes in our correctional facilities? I don't think so. Okay, I want to get back to Elaine. Elaine, we have a few minutes left. Uh, what is your opinion on rehabilitation efforts? Um, do they work? And what kind of reentry numbers are we seeing? I want to be clear about something. I ran a prison for uh, almost 20 years, and I worked in corrections for 30 years. I don't believe there's a good prison, <laughs> and we delude ourselves when we think that there is a good prison. Uh, however, you can do things within that environment to help people find themselves, change themselves, uh, family violence. There are very few prisons with family violence programs. And as the women were saying, when they do have a, a, a program, it's one person for 
800 or 1,200 people, and that's, you know, we can't say that's a program. Um, same thing, and mental illness. The number of women who are mentally ill who are in prison is enormous. Is that what we do with mentally ill people in this country? Yes. Right now, we have more women, mentally ill people in our prisons than we're ever in our mental institutions. I, I, I don't understand that. But yes, I believe that re people change. Donna changed. She came in as a young woman who was a little wild. <laughs> and um, she's young. I mean, excuse me, these women are 18, 19, 20, sometimes 16. Um, yep. They don't have the best judgment. Right. It's about learning and it's about growing. Yes. And you have to, and using a regular authoritarian prison is not going to change. Right, that. it's about uh, change. And mm -hmm. we're going to have to leave it there. We've run out of time. Thanks to all of you for being with us. Elaine Lord, Donna Hilton, Evie Litwak. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.